Of all the characters that have popped up in the last decade, Steven Universe has got to be one of the series with the most interesting characters. It's a large cast, featuring donut shop employees and outer space overlords. Some characters are highly skilled and powerful, while others are ordinary. Some are intelligent, and others aren't that bright. Despite how different the characters are, they still manage to feel like real people. Even the most alien characters can still feel like real people we've met at some point. But what if the next Squid Game took place in Beach City? What if gyms and humans alike were forced to compete until only one is left standing? That's the video today. Hey guys, I'm Brad with Wicked Binge, and this is Which Steven Universe Character Would Survive Squid Game? Before we get into the actual game, let's set a few rules. First, all characters enter the games with no superhuman abilities. This helps make the playing field more equal between the gym and human contestants. In the case of the diamonds, this also means we'll be scaling them down to a size comparable to the rest of the cast. Second, nobody enters the game with any weapons. All right, let's move on to the contestants. Our cast of characters include Steven Universe, Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, Greg Universe, Connie, Lars, Sadie Miller, Peridot, Lapis Lazuli, Bismuth, Spinel, Rose Quartz, Mayor Dewey, Ronaldo Fryman, Onion, Aquamarine, Topaz, Jasper, Eyeball, Holly Blue Agate, Blue Diamond, Yellow Diamond, and White Diamond. The contestants have been chosen. Now it's time for the games to begin. Starting with Red Light, Green Light. Red Light, Green Light is as simple as it sounds. You must make it across the field in the time allotted. However, you can only move when you're told to do so. Failure to listen will result in a quick elimination. Overall, being precise and a good listener are crucial to surviving this game. We believe Garnet would do pretty well. She almost always remains cool and collected, even in the most dire situations. Even when we take her superhuman attributes out of the equation, she remains one of the more athletic characters. Pearl would also be great. She's precise in her movements, and she's observant too. After all, balance is the key. Jasper is another gym who would be a perfect fit. It's important to remember her background as a soldier. Not only is she athletic, but she has no trouble following orders. She passed this game with flying colors. Another character that we think would be good is Spinel. Spinel loves a good game. Not only that, but the game mostly consists of standing. If there was one thing Spinel has experience with, it's staying in one place for long periods of time. The last character we think would excel is, surprisingly, Holly Blue Agate. She's great at listening and following instructions, and she also has the athleticism of someone like Garnet or Pearl. Sadly, not everyone is destined to get out alive. Some characters don't listen to the rules or are too clumsy to survive. Our first death would have to be Onion. Onion is a troublemaker, and he loves to disobey orders. We could easily see a scenario where he's the first to be eliminated after a failure to listen to the rules. Mayor Dewey would also be eliminated. He's one of the more incompetent characters, and he's anything but precise. We can definitely see him as someone who trips up. Ronaldo would not make it. He's not athletic, and he's not that smart. Like Dewey, he would probably stumble, leading to his death. Unfortunately, we also have to say goodbye to Amethyst. Out of everyone in the Crystal Gym trio, Amethyst is the most reckless and impulsive. We can see her tripping up, as precision is not her forte. Our fifth and final death is, much to our surprise, White Diamond. For much of the series, White Diamond is a tyrant who isn't one to let others control her. This would most certainly be true of this game, and it would lead to a fast elimination. Game 1 ends with 5 deaths, leaving 19 contestants still standing. It's time for Game 2, Honeycomb. The Honeycomb game, like the first game, requires precision. This attribute is important to making sure you get your shape out in one piece. Sloppiness will only lead to your demise. Patience is also important. Out of all the games, this is one you definitely wouldn't want to rush. Once again, Pearl survives. We already mentioned that she is very precise, but she's also patient. Pearl is not the type of character to rush things, a trait that would be invaluable for this game. Connie would also be good. She possesses a steady hand thanks to her experience experience in sword fighting. We can't forget how she was trained by Pearl. Since we already put her here, it makes sense to put her pupil here, too. Lapis Lazuli would also do well. Her experience in creating art, or meat morphs as she calls it, means 
she is patient and precise. These traits are just as important in creating art as they are in this game. And Steven Universe would make it out. Though he's gonna be impatient, his artistic side would be a great asset. While there are a lot of characters that are precise, we can't forget about the ones that aren't. Let's talk about the eliminations. Aquamarine is likely to be the first one to go. She's agitated when things don't go her way. If she chooses a less than satisfactory piece, she would become angry, breaking the piece in frustration. Jasper would be eliminated too. She's probably the least patient character in the series, and she gets angry fast. This would undoubtedly be her downfall. Game 2 only gave us two deaths, but don't let that fool you. Things aren't gonna get any easier from here on out. And that's true for the next game, The Midnight Brawl. By this point in the games, nerves begin to fray, fatigue starts to set in, and tensions grow high. There are really no rules in this game. The contestants only need to survive. Some may achieve this by fighting, while others will find a more subtle approach. Right off the bat, Garnet, Bismuth, and Topaz seem like natural candidates for victory. They are the strongest characters in the game right now, so they'd have little trouble in fighting others. One character we think would surprise people would have to be Sadie. Though it's not her area of expertise, Sadie has had some battle experience. She has used weapons like spears, and her previous experience of surviving on an island would come in handy. Peridot would take a far more logical approach. Since she's pretty weak, even with her powers, she would hide until the fight comes to its end. Another surprising survivor is Lars. He definitely wouldn't be fighting anyone, opting instead to lay low. Given how well he hid from Gems' empire during his time in space, we think he'd do well at staying undetected. But not everyone is destined to survive, however. Some characters simply aren't fighters, a fact that will lead to several eliminations. The first casualty has got to be Greg Universe. He doesn't have a fraction of the fighting experience the others have, which makes him an easy target. Blue Diamond would also fall. She's not really a fighter, but without her powers to fall back on, she's definitely out of luck. Lapis Lazuli is another casualty. She doesn't possess any great natural strength, and it's unlikely she'd be as tactical as someone like Peridot. And the final elimination is Spinel. While she'd be great at previous games, she'd be an easy target, especially without her powers. All right, on to the fourth game, Tug of War. To make things a little more fair, we won't be assigning characters to teams like the Squid Game series did. We'll instead look at characters individually, and then decide if their skill set makes them likely or not to survive. In this game, physical strength is important, but it's not everything. You also need to be a good strategist and be willing to work with others. If you can't be a good team player, it will almost certainly spell doom for you and your team. Obviously, Garnet, Connie, Yellow Diamond, and Rose would all succeed. These characters have all displayed strong leadership skills throughout the series. Some have even led entire armies. Any good team needs a good leader, and these characters more than fit that description. Though they aren't leaders, Steven, Pearl, and Bismuth would also do well. These three had no trouble working in a team and cooperating with others. Players like this are just as important in this game as strong leaders are. Now, these two aren't known for being team leaders, but Topaz and Holly Blue Agate would survive. Like we said earlier, this is a game of strength, and this duo has that covered. While she's not the smartest, this is Eyeball's time to shine. Her history as a soldier in the gym war means she's not only strong, but she's also good at working and strategizing with others. The majority of characters still standing are good fighters with decent physical strength. Unfortunately, there are a few who aren't so lucky. Our first choice for elimination is Lars. While he can be a good strategist, his lanky body doesn't lend well. Sadie will also be taken out. While she is stronger than Lars, she's no match for the others, who have all fought in wars and battles. Compared to those characters, she's definitely the weakest link. Lastly, we have to say goodbye to Peridot. She's good with logic and reasoning, but strength, not even close. With three taken out in the last game, we've reached the final 10. Coming up next, the Marble Game. This game is unique compared to other games. We say this because whereas every other game has a clear way to play, Marbles has several ways. It can be as simple as a guessing game to see how many marbles your opponent has, or something more skillful like tossing. Players need to be skilled. If they're not, they can always rely on good old manipulation. This is another game that we think Garnet would survive. She's as skilled as they come, and she loves a good game. Rose also gets an easy win. 
If she could deceive friend and foe, this game would be no problem. Unsurprisingly, some of the characters left standing aren't the type to play games, nor are they interested in any mind games. As sad as it is to say, Steven Universe would be eliminated. Though he loves playing games, he can be influenced by others. This would most definitely be his undoing. We're also gonna lose Pearl. Pearl isn't the type to play games, so she'd probably be manipulated by a more skillful player. Holly Blue Agate would also fall. She's been tricked by the Crystal Gems before, and we doubt she's gotten any wiser. Topaz is another easy pick. Though her strength has been a great asset to her thus far, that's kinda it. She's never played any game, and she could easily be tricked by a better player. This round would also see the last of Eyeball. Rubies might be strong, but they are anything but clever. Eyeball's been tricked before, so it's not unreasonable to put her down here. All right, guys, only five remain. It's time for the second to last round, Glass Stepping Stones. Kind of like marbles, luck is a key factor in surviving. The only real strategy is to be patient and watch your opponents find out which pieces can and cannot be broken. Of course, some characters would have no interest in waiting, a decision that would inevitably lead to their downfall. The first character we think would die is Yellow Diamond. As the head of the gym empire, she likely has quite an ego. She also likes to cut to the chase. We imagine she would pick one of the lowest numbers and try to clear the game before everyone else. Things probably wouldn't go so well after that. Connie would also be eliminated. Though she is athletic and acrobatic, she doesn't nearly have the skill or experience the remaining players have. While that's understandable, seeing as they are all war veterans, it does make her a clear choice for an elimination. The final death would be Rose. Though she can be graceful, she can also be naive, much like her son. She probably wouldn't be able to tell the glass apart, leading her to fall right through. Garnet, however, would be a different story. She's probably the most patient character left. She would wait things out and see how the others fare before making a move. We can also see her memorizing which pieces of glass are tempered and which are regular. Bismuth would also do well. Though she's not as patient as Garnet, she has a completely different area that could lead to her success. She's a builder and a blacksmith, meaning it's totally likely that she could tell the glass apart. All right, we've reached the final two for the final game. It's Garnet versus Bismuth in the Squid Game. The Squid Game has its own set of rules. In a traditional game, which takes place in a squid-shaped court, one player acts as defender while the other is the attacker. The attacker needs only to reach the top of the squid's head and touch it with their foot, whereas the defender is focused on stopping them from reaching it. In the show, however, things are different. Here, it's an all-out fight to the death. Let's take a look at Bismuth first. She's undoubtedly one of the strongest crystal gems there is. Even without her abilities and weapons, she is strong. Remember, she was created to build objects. As a veteran of the gem war, she's fought in countless battles against thousands of soldiers. Her and Garnet even took on a battalion of court soldiers, which highlights both their strengths. Overall, Bismuth is a powerful warrior and one that could give any gym a run for their money. Now let's look at Garnet. Just like Bismuth, she is very strong and skilled. They both fought in many battles, and they've defeated thousands of enemies. It's even suggested in the series that the two are equals. However, we have to give the edge to Garnet. Well, hey Brad, why? It's because Garnet is wiser and more tactical than Bismuth. Let's not forget that Garnet has been the leader of the Crystal Gems ever since Rose's passing. She's led the team on many missions, and on most of these occasions, she is the one calling the shots. While Bismuth is strong, we must mention that her strength mostly comes from her weapons. With no weapons to rely on, Garnet could easily take advantage and defeat her. Lastly, Garnet is no stranger to fighting opponents who are of similar stature to Bismuth. Remember how well she handled Jasper? Garnet definitely knows what to expect in a fight against Bismuth. In conclusion, Garnet has a tactical edge Bismuth simply lacks. Bismuth is a good fighter, but Garnet is just a bit more clever. Her experience in leading the gyms on missions is key to her victory, but even in a straightforward battle, Garnet has what it takes. So, we have to declare Garnet the winner of the multi-million dollar prize and the title of Squid Game Champion. Her theme isn't called Stronger Than You for no reason. Alright guys, that's it. Let us know in the comment section if you agree with our ranking, and tell us what we should cover next. Remember to hit that notification bell and binge more of our videos, but most importantly, stay wicked.